What's going on everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Same. Today we're going to be reviewing Booker's Bourbon Kathleen's Batch. Alright guys, so we're back for another Booker's review today. Today we're going to be reviewing Booker's 118 Kathleen's Batch. Now, Booker's puts out four of these batches a year. This is the 118 Kathleen's batch coming in at 63.7% alcohol. Uh, just remind myself here, six years, three months, and 14 days for the age on this. And the newest one that just came out is actually the kitchen table batch. Um, I probably have already put that review out for you guys at this point for that one. But I wanted to do this one as well because this was a fantastic product. As you can see, I've already gone through much of this bottle. I wanted to put this one out for you too. But Booker's, again, is made by Jim Beam. Jim Beam makes several different types of products. Booker's, Baker's, the whole Knob Creek line, and of course the Jim Beam base line they make. Booker's is their higher-end product. Um, these are going to be more pricey products. But usually with the higher price, at least with these products, does come higher quality. All right, so let's go on into the color with this one, guys. Again, with with being the high proof, we do see the dark colors coming through. Dark amber, I would say, very dark caramel color, I would describe this as. Um, it seems awfully thick in the glass. It's a good looking color. All right, let's go on into the nose here, guys. Still get that classic Jim Beam nuttiness on the nose. Not too much burn. I am actually picking up a little more citrus on this nose. Um, trying to remember back doing the uh, kitchen table review, I don't remember picking up any kind of fruit notes on it. This I do actually get some fruit notes. Still get very rich bourbon flavors. It smells like a classic bourbon on the nose. All right, guys, let's give it a taste here. Cheers. I do get quite a bit of burn going down on this. I don't think this is as smooth as the kitchen table, the 418 Booker's was. I'm trying to go by memory, but I'll have to do a side-by-side -side for this for you guys. But it's got more burn on the tongue. Still good nutty flavor, rich caramel, rich vanilla on the taste. Let's give it another sip here. It's got really good flavor. It's not as creamy as some of the previous Booker's batches I've had. It, it kind of stings the outside of the tongue a little bit, I guess. Again, being high proof, I'd expect that. It's not a bad bourbon by any means. It's very good. I am getting a little bit of oak note on this. Not as much fruit coming through on the taste, really. Um, more just on the nose, I picked up that fruit. Yeah, I just described this as a nuttiness. Rich vanilla, rich caramel flavors. Maybe a little bit of brown sugar in there, too. It is good though. It's very good. It does leave my mouth watering, wanting more. I'd say this has a medium to long finish. I don't think this is as long as a finish of a finish as um, the Booker's Kitchen Table was, but I will say it does have a, a medium finish. In general, Booker's Bourbon is fantastic. I've only tried three different batches, um, two of which I own. And all three have been really good. I would definitely, definitely pay for the bottles. I did hear a rumor that the Booker's batches are going up in price. Um, I got this for $70 where I live. I did hear it might be going up to $100. Um, at $100, I, I don't know that I would buy at least this specific product. Don't get me wrong, guys. It's very good. It's very good, but I don't think it was quite as good as the kitchen table I had. Um... 
I will be doing a side by side with those. Who knows? Maybe when I do the side by side, my thoughts will completely change and I'll choose the Kathleen's batch over it. I have had this bottle open for probably about four or five months, honestly. That can that can affect the flavor a little bit. Um, but I don't think it's gotten any worse than when I first tried it at all. I'd say the flavor stayed probably pretty consistent with this. Overall though, guys, if you can get it for the, about the $70 price range, I would definitely recommend you pick up a bottle of this. $70 is a lot of money, but if you are into higher proof cast strength bourbons like myself, this is right up my wheelhouse. I, I, I love higher proof bourbons. I think it really gives you all those rich bourbon flavors. Then this is probably something you do want to at least pick up at least one time to see if it's something you really like. Also, if you're a Jim Beam fan in general, so Knob Creek, Jim Beam White Label even, if you like those flavor profiles, this has all those same flavor profiles. That nutty note you get, or that I always get at least with Jim Beam, has those same flavors. So if you like that, it's going to be a great option for you. 70 bucks is a lot to swing. I know you can get two, maybe even three decent bottles of bourbon for that price. But again, if you like the high proof, you're going to like this. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Stay insane. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. Also follow me on Instagram at Bourbon Sane and Facebook Bourbon Sane.